What the heck is magna fishing? Is that like taking the metal detector on the beaches? Same thing? Is it like when the guy goes to the beach with a metal detector looking for gold? You do that in the water with magnets? <laughs> I think I've seen a video on Reddit. Something like that. Often chemical reactions. Okay, okay. I, I kind of understand. Not really, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, you, you put a magnet on the line to got metal things near the bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that on Reddit. There was a girl that was doing that, and it was just pulling off random stuff from, like, the nearby lake. Leo Far, dude, he really, really wants his massage table. He really, really wants his massage table, man. Oh, it's because he's allergic. And the soggy feet. All right. Can we mop this up yet? Not yet. I want to just uh, mop up the water, but we're going to leave it there for a while. Electrode fishing? Isn't Electrode a Pokemon? Is this a meme? Am I trying to get memed on? Table, please. You have a table, dude. Right here. You got the mess tables. Leo Far wants a massage table, man. Uh, I don't have I don't have energy for that man. That's a Pokemon, dude. I have some magnesium matches that you can light underwater. Interesting. That that's that's got to be a Pokemon, right? Like no beams? That's a Pokemon. Uh, there's no battery here though. So, I don't want to use this power line. It would have to be off of this. All right, we'll give you a massage table very temporarily. Usually metal, either of two terminals of electrically conducting medium, but yes, also a Pokemon. Dude, there's so many technical things now, man. When it comes to fishing, it's so technical. I see you guys over there, man. We got electrode fishing, we got magnesium dynamite, and it's all illegal, dude. It's kind of wild. All the tech is illegal. There's a Switch game called Dynamite Fishing. Oh man. What a meme, dude. What a meme. Do you upgrade from sticks of dynamite to like grenades or something? I can't even imagine how the progression works. <laughs> I'm just trying to think about that, man. It's like, I don't know, man. It sounds kind of suspect, if you know what I mean. High stress. All right, so we get the massage table? Yes, okay. All right, Leo Far. We got to your table, buddy. Hope you have fun. Oh, it's an iPhone game, but it looks like it's for the Switch. Dude, that, that's one of the things. Since the Switch is portable, doesn't that mean that the Switch ends up being like a... Um, how do I say this? It ends up being like a the, the the a big phone, right? Isn't that what that ends up being? The switch ends up being just a big phone. Feels weird, man, but it feels like that's the case. Oh, we're almost done with all the magma. Let's go. Okay, so I need to build a temp shift plate here. Add a coal to solidify the magma here. That also means I want to mine this. This is also done. We could decon that. Now all we have is here in terms of uh, taking care of the magma. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. 
We're almost there, boys. Almost there. We could go for another databank mission, just because we can. What? I clicked on that. Alright, alright. It's not too bad, not too bad. So, we gotta build our geothermal power plant soon. So we're gonna wrap up scooping all this magma out, and then we're gonna tap into the magma from the right side. Or maybe not, we'll probably redo how the spillway works. And then uh, try to make it so that we could have this done while we build the geothermal power plant design. That's going to be what we're hoping for. Decon that. I need to scoop these items, man. I really do. Yet yeah, no one wants to do the job. Switches uh, two Wii's smashed together, and the Wii was two GameCubes, and the GameCubes were two N64s. They really haven't changed tech at all in the two years. Just do the same thing faster. Interesting, Citrus the Wizard. I mean, it looks like their innovation were in the forms of their controllers, though, right? That's kind of where the Nintendo kind of stands apart. None of their controllers look the same. Whereas the PlayStation controller looks exactly the same. And then the Xbox controller, you kind of see how it evolved. It's kind of interesting. Alright guys, I gotta ask. Should I deconstruct this AETN? I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. We could feed it hydrogen. I just don't know what I would be chilling in this area. I think I want to wreck this. Delete it. Alright, it's time boys. Oh, this is a skill? Oh, Scarlet Man has it. He's actually that skilled. He does? Yeah, he's the only one with demolition. Okay. <laughs> I, I, oh, man, you needed a skill to delete that. Scarlet Man coming in with the purple beam. Oh, with no items? It literally just disappears. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, we're going to get rid of the tiles, too, so that it looks a little bit more uniform. We'll also get rid of the mesh tiles here, since it's no longer needed. Not bad, not bad. You know what I realized? I could technically put... Two airflow tiles... Oh, I can't. I can't put the airflow tile there, because of the heavy watt. I could move the heavy watt down. I'm willing to do that. But if I move the heavy watt down, I could replace the ladder and this space with two airflow tiles. And then I could actually move the kiln inside here. This building. Since this is chilled by the hydrogen, that's never going to generate heat then. Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to re relocate the kiln. Pretty sure something that requires tier 3 building that deconstructs drops items. It was patched in a way to fix the bug IRC. Yeah, it's it's because uh, us Oni players used to use a strat where we would deconstruct the windows that was nearby this teleporter. And get glass so that we could make our first solar panel at like cycle 10. <laughs> yeah, man. They patched that out because of us, man. I gotta be real. End of the day, we know who it was. <laughs> At the end of the day, we were the culprit, man. But controllers are an interactive gameplay. Our trademarks are Nintendo. I want to say what Nintendo does well is casual games. I think that's what Nintendo does well. And then, of course, they have their big guys like Mario and Link. You know, and then you have, like, the Smash games. Plants have died? What? Oh, no! 
We got flooded. Oh no. Wait, how much water is that? Okay, I can mop that still. Okay. We gotta mop this. Somehow this got flooded. Huge rip. We gotta mop up the top. I was wondering what was happening, dude. Stop flooding, boys. We need to plant a new grub fruit and it has to evolve. Feels bad. Alright, we got the mops. We got the mops. You gotta mop the top so it stops spilling. That was my bad. That was my bad. At least it's cold water. Yeah, it's not steam. It's not flood. It's not too bad. Anytime you see plants have died, it's usually a sign something really bad happens. So I saw that and I panicked a little bit. It just happens to be something minuscule like that, right? It's not too bad. All right, so this I have to solidify with a refined carbon tile again. So this is going to be a coal temperature plate. And then we could deconstruct all of these now. Hopefully I could deconstruct from the bottom. We did it, boys. All right, so now that's all of the magma coming from that side. Familiar with it, Fluon dude. That's because you try to make a regolith boiler. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. It's because you wanted to make a regolith boiler, dude. If it weren't for that regolith boiler, I don't know, man. Oh, who the hell? Who's going through here? I see them over there. Oh, I'm taking the sands. Oh, aluminum would be kind of sweet to grab. I have 44 tons, but I actually go through sand pretty pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the sand and not the aluminum. Alright, alright. So, are these unreachable? Are these actually unreachable? I actually have to build a ladder for this. Oh, this is big meme, dude. Wait, how is this unreachable? Oh, this is in the way. Oh, that means I probably could just deconstruct. I just need to remove this tile. Okay. Almost safe, should I say? I see you over there. Alright, so let's remove this. Get a little bit of copper back. Not that it matters. Alright, so we have a lot of uh, obsidian here that's just really hot. I want to make a rock crusher, man. Why does one have a balloon? Oh, that's because one of my overjoyed reactions in the colony is a balloon maker. And what they do is they make balloons and they start passing them out to nearby duplicates. So that guy you saw with the balloon right here has a balloon buddy. A balloon artist gave this duplicate a balloon. So you guys ever go to like your nieces or nephews uh, Christmas party? I mean, a uh, Christmas party, birthday party. And then they have a, a clown there or something doing the balloons. That's kind of what that is to a certain degree. All right, we're going to remove this and actually do this properly. All right, we're going to remove some tiles so that we could actually start doing this and look a little bit better instead of having a jank setup. And there was also the food. I was trying to see if this worked. So I know I could sweep to it because it's the left tile for the sweeper for this to work properly. And I could try to make berry sludge, but I'm going to attach power first. What I'm worried about is, can I sweep out the food? Does it drop on the left tile? So we're going to build one of these. If we could sweep to it and deliver it, that's perfectly fine. But once the food drops on the ground, can I pick it up and put it into food storage? Now, I could put the berry sludge in here, but it doesn't really matter. Since it's never perishable, we just put it in the fridges. Wait, he grabbed sleep wheat by himself? Okay. And then the cook has to cook on it. Cool. Okay, so we got that. This needs to be a tile. So it's a decon. Decon? Oh, that's dirt? Yo, man, how did I not see that? <laughs> there were so many times I just needed dirt, and I didn't even recognize it was there. 
Let's also remove these tiles, since they're not going to be necessary. We'll leave this layer, though. Inspect data banks. Let's go. Let me get some data banks. Give me my data banks. Slowly doing that. We don't actually need the ladder there. They could just jump off the one tile. Radiation? Really? Wow, he got slapped by that one ray of radiation. They had to do an animation for it. Oh, he just dropped the obsidian. Feels bad. Alright, so we can do that now. Are these... Not allowed, not reachable. Okay. So I do need the ladder on both sides. And then we have to remove the middle with the ladder as well. And then we just wait for them to grab... Oh, the copper spill strat. I gotta do that. I gotta do that. That's true. Uh, I guess I could do it here. So we're just going to spill copper on the ground. Trying to solidify it into usable copper. And I don't think it's going to be that bad. Aw, oh, I didn't build it. Feels bad. Okay, so we got that built. We can attach the oxygen soon. So the other thing we needed was making a design to cool down the setup. So I'm going to remove this ladder because it's not going to be necessary. We could actually... No, we can't make the jump. Okay, I'll leave it like there for now then. Uh, so... We're going to need drywall. And we're going to use obsidian. And this is going to be fine. We are having the... Ah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So we will have it... Can you put drywall on top of a, a vent? You can, right? So we'll do it here. And then we're going to have tiles around it. So... And then it's going to come out. I could put a tile here too, so this gets a little bit more cooling. So what we're doing is we're going to pump out oxygen on that tile. And then this tile is going to be how we're going to control the uh, cooling for the Radbull generators. That's going to be how we're going to want to do that. So we'll just put that build command so that they could get started on that instead of being idle. This guy is still making his deliveries. Where is he at? He's at the bottom. Okay, still grabbing sandstone, still grabbing sands. So he's chilling over there still. Mule lice, cool. Got a calling a report, we don't need it. Okay. So, here... Decon, decon. The auto, yes, it is. So, bottle of copper. Just spill it on the ground so it could solidify. All right, so let's do a spill. We already have an auto save, so I'm gonna be brave boy and just uh, not even save. There we go. Always brave. Always pays off. Gases didn't move out. And we get to empty out the magma again. So we're spilling out the copper. In hopes that it solidifies. And we got a little bit solidifying already. And to make it a little bit easier, we'll build a temp shift plate. Alright, so with that, I'm actually going to be able to deconstruct this tile. And we go to the bottom again if we want to. Actually, I'll leave that. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally have something bad happen with the pipes. So we'll probably go through this way. And I'll probably want to deconstruct this tile. So we can go to these pitcher pumps. Meal lice decay, that's fine. Okay. 
can we up the priority of this? This is kind of important. Nice. Okay, so now they can start pitch bumping from here. To continue with the uh, magma deliveries. Not bad. Okay, so... Here, here. I still want to keep that there, but we want to do some uh, different things with this. Yes, so we're going to do it today, Susumu. We're going to do it today. All the magma on the right's gone. So, we are looking to do it today. Ah, it's going to be this tile that's going to be a little bit weird. This should be enough bottle emptiers, man. It's just maybe not enough pitcher pumps. And this is a shorter distance. Nice. Solidified copper. We could actually take some of the molten copper from right here as well. Auto bottle is on. Now, sad thing is copper is heavier than magma, so the copper is at the bottom of the map. Feels bad. We'll still drop off the copper here, though, that's solidify. How are you doing today, though, Susumu? How is the Thursdays? Got the battery. Waiting on that to be built. Paku Filet. Oh, no. I'm not cooking fish. Oh, no. The Paku Filet is rotting. It's all stale right now. Alright, so that's fine. We will allow the Paku Filet to be frozen. Feels bad. So we'll just cook it right now. Ah, so that's... That should be within sweep distance. And it is. So I could actually make berry sludge. I could actually make berry sludge. This is great. We're putting this on forever. It goes. Still working, but taking a dinner break. Gotcha, gotcha. You happy for the weekend coming along, hopefully? I know that uh, it's only Thursday still, but Friday's right around the corner. So, yo, happy times ahead. Happy times ahead. That actually means I need to do this. And we're going to do this with Mafic. We'll do it up to here. So that we still have the ability to uh, remove these tiles. And then I will want to replace this. And then we'll probably want to deconstruct this tile. So it looks like Leofar is happy with his massage table. That he's no longer using it. <laughs> he's, he's, he's low enough stress that he's cool without it now. Seems pretty cool. Oh, someone tried to eat the berry sludge? Oh, that's rude. Uh, I need to take that off the consumables tab. That's going to be pure space food. Purely space food. Uh, this is already ready, so let's do another databank mission. Someone tried to... I mean, it doesn't spoil, so I'm not too worried about it. Can't believe someone tried to uh, eat the berry sludge, though. That's rude. And then another thing we're going to do is pocket filet. On forever. Barbecue as well. That's fine. We never do crystal berry since we're going to make berry sludge. Dude, we made 99 things of, of rad pills. Wait, is there someone eating it every day? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there's people e eating it every day still. Okay, it looks like everyone's off of the rad pills. <laughs> I've been wasting this. We gotta build another 99. Oh, we got an achievement. What kind of achievement would I have just gotten? Finely tuned machine. Okay, that's from uh, the uh, tune-ups right here. Nice, nice. All right, so air, okay. So we could cut the power here, here, and then remove this, and then remove the plastic ladder. Yeah, so we're gonna do that right now. 
And then looking at the oxygen, this is struggling a bit, but I think it's okay. Some of the suits up front are struggling, but otherwise I think we're doing all right. We have a suit here that needs to be redocked. Otherwise, everyone else is uh, just in the suits, I think. So it's not too bad. Ooh, more preserves. I'll take that. All right, so still got that. This is done. We could remove this now. Okay, so all we got to do is worry about the magma drop off here. Wait, overheated. Oh, this is made out of copper? Oh, this is not made out of steel. Oh, my Papega, dude. Oh, my Papega. I am not a smart man. Uh, do we have steel on this side? I have six tons of it. Now we have a lot. Okay. So we got a lot of steel. The dude over here could work on it then. We're going to turn off allow manual use and turn off the dig command. But yeah, okay. So we're going to need to go inside. This is idle. We need to remove this tile. That actually doesn't matter if we remove or not. But for the design, we need to go inside, deconstruct this, and then build a steel pump. He should be okay to do all that. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. We need you to do the other job. Go in to deconstruct. That's fine. We'll let him do that. He does this next. Oh, this is not priority nine. That's why. He's doing the fives first because he can't reach the priority nine over here. I can't believe I forgot to make that out of steel. <laughs> Luckily, I'm able to move inside still. Oh, no, I can't. I have to move this tile, which is not a bad thing. This is unreachable, right? Yeah, that's unreachable. So we're going to need to remove this tile. He's moving, he's moving. And then we got to remove this tile. And then we got to go down to here. I hope that happens before this erupts. Bomba's here. He was napping by the windowsill. Now he's here, hanging out. Don't break the pipes. We clicked on the tile. Nice. We go to there. We gotta disable auto repair. Why did you try to grab the copper? And then steel pump. I hear you, Mamba. You're good, you're good. I can't believe it, man. Almost messed up. Oh, oh, oh. This is rising pressure. Uh, I kind of want to build a tile here. But it, it, in long term, shouldn't matter. Like, this is never going to break. Alright, we will... What, what material is this? Sandstone. Okay, we will take this then. Nice. Okay, so we move to here. This is Igneous Rock. Build it. Hit him with the speed. Infinite spill still working. And we're just going to get some steam in here. Alright, so you're going to get out. This is going to close. This is going to close. And then this is going to open. And then we stop having heat transfer because now this is a vacuum. Nice. This is back to action again. We still have infinite pressure tank. And we're good. Nice. We fixed that problem pretty easily. All right, so back to here. Uh, so let's think about this for a second. Theoretically, I don't need anything more than two tiles for the uh, geothermal power. And that's because of the fact that the only thing I need inside is an aqua tuner. 
So the four tile space doesn't really benefit us too much. This way the heat also transfers along from the base of the map to the steam tiles pretty easily. So I don't have to worry that much about that. And then outside of that... We would need three tiles up for the turbine. So this ends up being, what, eight tiles? So we only need eight tiles of space to actually build the design and not actually need that much. I feel like I don't want to make a long MacGyver route that's like here to here. I wanted to have it here if possible. And I want it to be close to the ground. Oh, you know what we should do since we're going to be able to go inside here now? We should redo the liquid lock design for this so that we have it on the right side. That's probably pretty beneficial. All right, so let's remove this. Let's cancel this as well. I just drew an E. Feels bad. Nobody wants to decon this. Come on, guys. All right, so... Theoretically... I want to be able to go down this way to go to the bottom, unless we seal that up, which is a different story. And then I'm also worried about dropping hot obsidian into the water. <laughs> what happens if I drop a thousand degree obsidian into a pool of water? About to lose, man, very epically. We could do something like this, this, that, that, and still be able to go from the side. That's probably going to be the play, and then we could seal up the side and then lower the roof as well. No, we can't lower the roof as a result. I would have to move the shutoff. Uh... Hmm... Moving it to the right is a little bit more beneficial, though. And then we're able to come out this way, which means I would need ladders here. Alright, I am going to safety save. <laughs> and that's because we might drop obsidian into the pool of water, and that's going to be uh, famous last words. I'm not going to save. <laughs> so we'll do that really quick and uh, we'll eventually have to put some oil in here or something but I want to move out all the hot debris before that happens and we're still keeping this a vacuum so it's not like it's a bad thing I do want to keep sweeping the obsidian though that is the one thing I still want to do All the abyssalite and obsidian. How's this guy doing? No bed, still chilling. We're still. Oh, that's unreachable. Feels bad. We'll have to put the ladder on the outside then. Let's close the vent for now. The drywall was at 45 degrees. That's kind of slick. Don't have to worry too much about that. Can we just keep this open? That's probably beneficial. Save us some travel time. The outside's... Oh, I locked the doors. Oh, that's probably smart. Because then now I'll just go in... Uh this tile and then this tile and then the rail is right below me right yeah yeah yeah. so this tile is gonna have a liquid but not on the rail that's good and then this way we could deliver from the outside in so that if i do drop something it stays on the insulated tile oh come on has to eat Oh, 
They got more copper. They got more liquid copper. I don't even know where they got that from. Oh, probably from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's liquid copper right there. Nice. Nice. The automation is a little bit hot, but it's not too bad. I do need another temp shift plate then as a result. Just so that I could solidify the copper. Alright, so... Let's build with this in mind. And... Assuming this becomes the wall, basically. Okay, that's actually a good idea. And then we could just run it up to here. And have this be a solid wall. Could I put a tile here on the left? I can't. So it has to be like that. I guess I should try to extend this out. Just to make it look a little bit better. And then we could also add a little bit more water here if I wanted to. You know what? I will do this. Just so that it looks a little bit more uniform with everything. This filled up pretty quick, so they are pulling from the magma. Okay, okay. So if we were to do it here and line up to here, so if this is a wall, here to here is 18 tiles. Uh, five tiles for a liquid lock, five tiles for steam turbine. So if I could extend it out like an extra couple tiles, we would get more turbines in. But as of right now, I'll get about what? Two? Two steam turbines? That's, that's decent. It's not a lot of power, but it's pretty decent. It would be a great power source, core power source be pretty great uh pretty great for that constant power and then we'll have the natural gas and the other generators work off of that same line okay okay so 18 well technically with the wall it's 20 but because of the wall on the left and right well, the wall on the right is going to count, so we're at 19. So if I stick it out an extra tile, I technically get a better result. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I wish I could pull that in. Into here. Oops. I wish I could put the igneous right here and seal it up all the way. That's going to solidify the copper. It's, it, I think, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. And then we could have the heatsink just go from here and up. A little bit short, still a little bit tall. Oh, we could just lower this on the right side. Ah, uh, yes, that makes sense. So it would be something like this. Oh, I might boil it if I drop it into sulfur. What's sulfur gas? Oh, dude. 337. Oh, that's that's actually really scary. <laughs> that's a meme, dude. So I'm thinking about building obsidian tiles here. Insulated. But if I drop the obsidian, I could very easily make sulfur gas. That's actually pretty scary. Oh, man. Magma's a scary time. Take the oxalite. We're going to safety save. Part two, so that we could build that ceiling. We'll build it out of igneous. 
So we can't build it here. So it's going to be here, here. And we could go underneath. We got to watch over this, man. It's because the dupes are doing it, and I doubt the dupes' abilities. <laughs> it's because the dupes are doing it, and I doubt the dupes. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Pick up the Igneous. Go through this way. Okay, built the first tile. Smooth, and it's at 45. Oh! It actually happened! Oh, no! <laughs> it actually happened! Alright, is this low enough that it could just self-dissipate? It's in micrograms already. I think it self-dissipates. Oh, it's spreading. You say that, Luska the Great, immediately after the dupes do exactly what I feared they were doing? <laughs> That's a bad time to make that comment. So, so because this is micrograms, this is actually not that bad. Due to the fact that micrograms actually can't heat transfer. You can see that my airflow tiles are not changing temperature. And my bottle emptiers are not changing temperature either. My dupes can get burned though. That is a problem. So, and because it's micrograms, it's going to spread out so far, it's going to get to single digits. And once it gets to one microgram, it literally disappears from uh, the inside of the map. So, I actually will get a vacuum back, assuming that no more uh, liquid sulfur is going to be coming in. So, I think we got it. It's, it's not too bad. You see, this is really hot. It's going to disappear. We could look on the thermal map. There's like no heat transfer. The sulfur is changing temperature, but nothing else is. Don't worry, Pei. You're going to be fine. Oh, she was getting scalded. Not because she was getting burned by the sulfur, but she jumped into the magma to pull the bottle of copper out. That's actually what was happening. So, you can see that on the gas overview, this is going to be thinning out again. This side's already thinned out so that it's not coming back. So, we're actually not too bad. Mushroom cloud of sulfur, I know, man. Burnt the inside of the suit. No, we're fine, we're fine. We just have to wait for this to spread out, and then it's going to slowly just pull back. Since we're not generating more and more sulfur, we're going to be fine. So this only happens because if you look at the uh, the amount of mass, it's an MCG or micrograms. So we're okay because of that. If this was more, my airflow tiles would melt. My bottle emptiers would probably overheat. But since they're not changing in temperature, I'm actually not worried too much about this. See, if I was an inexperienced player, I would be panicking right now. But we're actually fine. We're actually fine. And guys, guess who's here? The star is here. Mamba on the beds, taking his naps. The nap in Mamba. Alright, so we, we, we should wait for this to dissipate. You can see that as it spreads out, it just disappears. Have you built any regolith melters? I have not ran into regolith yet. I haven't discovered regolith. Why did it drop? Because of the sulfur plume? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What, why did it drop? What are we talking about, Pain Dragon? What are we talking about? Why did what drop? Lead gas has a similar look. It, it does. Sulfur and lead is very similar in color. If you're colorblind, this looks like pea water. Ah, look at that. It's shrinking. So we're fine. We're fine. It's no longer covering the pitcher pumps. I mean, uh, bottom emptiers anymore. The dupes had hot materials in their hands, stood in the liquid sulfur with it, and built the tiles, flashing the liquid to glass. Yes, that's what happened. No, 
Uh, it's it's what Magic Mart was saying. So when your duplicates are carrying something hot, like uh, you see right here, Jack Bull is holding, uh, you know, he has like a thousand degree uh, obsidian. Anytime you walk through a liquid lock with that, or if you're just walking around in oxygen or any other gas, you're actively transferring the heat. So since he walked into a very thin puddle of a couple grams of liquid sulfur, you immediately flash that. So that's why I wanted to add more water into here. If the duplicates accidentally sweep something out that's hot, it's not going to flash this into steam. Just because there's a lot of thermal energy it could absorb. So the amount of DTU you actually have to apply to this goes up by a lot. So we have enough to buffer like, you know, 200 kilograms of obsidian at 1000 degrees is actually not that bad compared to 3000 kilograms of water at 30 degrees. So because he was trying to build these tiles and stepped into it, he uh, flashed it into uh, sulfur gas. He didn't drop it. They were supplying it at the time. Yep, he was holding it and then stepped on the tile to build the tiles. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. And it's scary times. All right, so I need to actually mop up the uh, sulfur right there. Thanks for the explanation. Gotcha, gotcha, man. Can I sweep this? Oh, nice. We could sweep the sulfur. But yeah, carrying something hot and going through the uh, area, it's kind of scary. Especially when you go through liquid locks. And that's actually the main reason why a lot of times you want to mop up water on the ground like this. In my case, I'm using that for cooling. But if you have like a puddle of water on the ground, walking through it with a hot object, it's bad news. <laughs> it's potentially pretty bad news. And it's almost gone. Now, sad thing is, is that this is getting deleted. So I lose all the sulfur otherwise. I found a mod that gives you a different schedule that they will not start new jobs. Sounds, uh... Oh, so they continue what they were working on last time, Luska the Great? Is that what you're saying? So if my researcher was researching and then they go to sleep, they continue researching when they wake up? Is that how that sounds like? That's what that's what I think it is. I'm not 100% sure if that's exactly what it is though. Oh, I'm out of plastic. Okay, you're going home, fam. If we're out of plastic, there's no point. That's actually why we stopped making databanks. Uh, okay. So we need to deconstruct this and build a copy because this glitched out from last time. Oh, I see what you're saying. They finished their last task so that they don't drop items on the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. No, they finished their task instead of dropping supply material on the floor before going to lunch, and then they would finish supplying first, then go to lunch. Yeah, 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 that's pretty legit. That's pretty legit. That's one of the problems with schedule changing in this game, to be honest. I see a spell more. Hope you have a good one. That's pretty legit. I wouldn't mind using something like that either. Okay, so we could remove this now since we're no longer able to reach. But we're going to move this down though. I might as well decon this as well. Alright, cloud's gone. We're safe, boys. We're safe. And the only thing is, is that I need to mop this up. I could actually just pitcher pump it, drop it back off into the water here. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. All right, so this is going to go down to here. And then we'll move this down as well. Hopefully that means... Okay, soon I'll be able to pitch pump on the side. Soon, soon. Okay, so I think I got it. I'm in love with Clay. Even the animations for the new releases are pretty good. Dude, Clay, they, they honestly, man. Clay is one of the last few true studios that still make video games, you know? 
it's it when they make a game it, it feels like it's what a studio would do and not you know a company that's just trying to make it for profit i i think that's the one thing i appreciate with clay that a lot of other companies don't like to do does anyone know what, what that graphical blob is that flashed across the screen was during the save i see the same thing during my game at times yes um that was part of the so when the fast friends dlc happened that's when that started appearing and i noticed that because i was like i would have vacuums a lot like this and then i would go like this and it looks like i have co2 in the area that's the graphical blob you see right for a quick second and then it disappears that happened as a result of the dlc and i think it was a result of them trying to increase the frame rate i don't know exactly what that does but i want to believe it's beneficial but otherwise i really just don't know what that does at all it does feel like it's scary but i don't know if it's like i don't know what it accomplishes so i can't tell you i just know that it came out during that time and i did know that one of the things they talked about was turning off animations so that they're not running in the background and that might be what they're doing that might be the beginning of the vacuum animation who knows but it's like if we go down to here um one of the things was is that they have things like pictures and images that go through an animation and it was taking up uh memory from what i heard the the thing was was that you would have the uh graphic being animated even though your camera wasn't on it so it was causing fps drops things like that so the more gases you had right like the mixed gas is floating around doing temperature exchange the animation for the gas moving around that was causing a little bit of frame drop i believe and then by making a change they made it more efficient by turning it off i don't know how it really works but you know that's just reading from the patch notes and a little bit of assumption on my part too so you know don't take my word for it that's how i think it works doesn't mean that that's how it works though oh starry eyed that's rare you're not a rocket pilot though so that's kind of pointless all right man we reject all did you get the thistle seeds to feed the plops you were working on it yesterday yes dude you know what happened pain dragon so we had the reed fiber seeds in here and the thing about it that was stupid was that I had a memory leak. And inside the memory leak, what happened was, was that I didn't have, uh, the, the read fiber wasn't showing up in the bin. And every time I went into my resources to show the read fiber seeds, it wouldn't show up. And I couldn't figure out why. I didn't know what was happening. I thought that maybe the Pakus ate it. No, no, something bad happened. But I just couldn't find it. And then chat convinced me to reset the game. And we found the Dimble Reed Seeds. It was literally sitting inside one of my rockets that we checked. And then, yeah, we got it situated. I have a small little pit farm to generate some dirt. They're able to eat the Dimble Reed Seeds now. And I have to move a couple pips still. That's right. So we'll move two more. And then we have 60 tiles. We could actually move five pips inside. And it actually shouldn't matter because they're wild, right? I should probably try to move all the pips inside. If possible. I really should. And then we just want to make sure we don't auto drop them back off. But yeah. We're now going to have the pips just grazing on the thimble reed. Not because we want more reed seeds, but they're going to give us dirt as a result. And we get cuddle eggs. That's pretty poggin, dude. We're going to move the cuddle eggs into the living areas. We're going to put some in the shower room. I'll even put some in the bedrooms. Nah, maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> we got to move around the pips, man. Got to move around the pips. But yeah, we, we figured it out. It was mad, dude. I was going crazy. I like... Because what happened was that we went on another mission back to the planet. We dug through to this area to grab another reed fiber. And not the reed fiber, the thimble reed seed. And then the moment we landed, it disappeared from the bin. The moment we landed. I was going crazy, man. I was like, what's going on? 
That's illegal, dude. You can't just take my items like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just Dono snap that and I never get to interact with it. So I was freaking out. But yeah, we figured it out. We figured it out. Sometimes, man, you got hit by the Thano snap. It's impressive. I think it was a bug with the regolith melters because of something like that, but sounds like it's a frames thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's memory leak issues from time to time where you'll have weird interactions. And a lot of the times, I want to say they get fixed, but I'm not 100% sure. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Honestly, man, it works. <laughs> like, I'm not one to discount it, but yo, man, I'll tell you something. That strategy actually works, turning it on and off again. Don't discount it, dude. It's a good strat. One time, my car didn't start, so I turned it off and turned it back on again, and it started. That didn't make sense, because it was off the entire time. But hey, man, they don't think it be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that, though, sometimes. You know what I'm thinking about doing? I'm thinking about destroying this right here. And I think we're going to want to do this so that we can pull the power wire through this way. That's going to come from the geothermal power plant. That just makes too much sense. It's about 20 years fighting with computers, not just a meme, dude, man. In before Skynet happens, and that's how we lose. We win the war against Skynet and the robots, and one of the robots go, Huh, what, I've, what, what if I just turned it off and turned it back on again? And Skynet revives entirely. That would be the wildest, like... <laughs> That'd be the wildest spin on the meme, dude. Not even, not even kidding. We beat Skynet and then we lose because a robot turns it off and turns it back on again. Oh, man. Dude, sometimes, man, they don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. Yeah, we could probably drop the sand back down. It's probably fine. Alright, we're going to send this back out. And then we'll set this up to mine through. And we're going to be pushing down on the magma stick. Oh! Igneous rock? What happened here? I think legit just wrote the plot to Terminator 7. Aw, oh, dude. Hey, man, can someone clip that? So that will be internally on the internet. And then if Terminator 7 comes out, I'm going to slap them with that and be like, hey, man, that's my idea. I need some royalties. Don't worry. I'll take, I'll take either a flat amount. I'm willing to take a flat amount, not a percentage. <laughs> it's negotiable. Let's go, man. Is that a cool pull eight? No, baby. It's uh, ketchup. We're making ketchup for the fries. And we need a little bit of barbecue sauce for the chicken nuggets. You want some shooting tatsu? We're willing to share. We have a lot. Willing to share. Willing to share. Uh, you're going to have to get it yourself, though. I, I won't be able to scoop you out a, a little bit of it. So it's uh, self-serving. You'll be able to handle it, right? All right, I'm gonna wait for the auto save, and we're gonna dump the magma again. And then I think we we know exactly how we're gonna need to do this. Uh, we're gonna change this location for the uh, molten copper setup. Self serve, man. Just drink it straight like you would from the lake. What? Do you not boil the water from a lake before you drink it? Come on, man. I've watched enough bear grills. To know that you can't drink any water from a natural source without expecting to get like really sick. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I learned a lot from Bear Grills. Sometimes you gotta drink your own piss. The forbidden ketchup, dude, to be like that sometimes. It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, so we're going to remove this tile. 
so the idea is we're basically going to relocate so that the top of the sofa right here is going to be the bottom of my geothermal power plant. And we're going to extend it out a little bit to the right, which is why we're going to lower this. So then this is going to be the base of the geothermal power. Hopefully that's going to be okay. Twitch mobile is finally working again. Nice, nice. Feels bad that it wasn't working though, Mighty Sush. Twitch mobile is wild, man. If you guys didn't know, there is a uh, thing where Twitch mobile charges you extra for things like bits and a subscription. If you guys didn't know about that. It was 300 degrees. It's actually not that bad. Don't worry. It's 300 degrees. It's not a thousand. It's only 300. You know, it's negligible. There's a thing if you actually... Uh, Oh, nice. Good stuff, my Sush. There's a thing if you guys didn't know. You caught the meme. Nice. It just, dude, what you think? You got to give me uh, X out of 10, dude. You got to rate that. There's a thing on mobile, if you guys didn't know. For all the people that are watching on the Twitch app on mobile, there's a penalty fee for watching on mobile if you're trying to spend money on mobile. Meaning that if you're using the Twitch app, they actually charge you, I think it's what, 30% more to... Uh, either subscribe or buy bits or cheer bits. And the reason why is because if you do anything on the mobile through the Twitch app and things like that, Apple has a 30% cut that they need to get. So Twitch, yes, MV Hank knows. Twitch just pushes that over to you guys, the uh, consumer. So the funny thing is you can circumvent that by just getting out of the Twitch app and going into your Safari browser or whatever browser you're utilizing. Once you get your browser going, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Dude, what the hell is this? Why is it sold for here? Oh, this heated up for so no reason. What you guys could do is just open up your uh, browser on your mobile device and use that to subscribe or buy bits instead. It's, it's that easy. And I just want to pass that knowledge around because if you do are... If you do a lot of stuff on the Twitch app, you know, might as well just save yourself a little bit of money. What's happening with your sofa guys or something looks like it's flashing a gas. I think when we built the tiles, I guess it uh, caused a little bit of the low mass sulfur to flash into gas. It's fine though. Just because of it, it's in grams. When you flash into gas and you expand, your amount of initial mass doesn't change. So if it expands far enough and it goes down to micrograms, there's no heat exchange. So I'm actually okay with that. If it's, you know, only a little bit of sulfur. It's not like it's going to ruin me, right? It shouldn't ruin me. <laughs> I'll say it like that. Alright, so that abyssalite's pretty chill. Let me sweep that. And then we're going to remove the roof on here and make it a little bit lower. So I will need to deconstruct this tile. I could also remove a little bit of automation from here. The liquid element sensor and all that stuff is not needed anymore. And then I need to do, I think it's this tile. All right, all right. So I should be able to... Oh, what? It doesn't even let me mop it up? Oh, I wanted to mop this tile. Damn it. Okay. We got to deconstruct this, man. Actually, wait. Let's make this sweep only liquid sulfur. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So we'll sweep all that, drop it off, it'll solidify, and we'll sweep it out. We're not picking up. Okay, let's cancel this. <laughs> so we don't accidentally drop some hot obsidian over here and kind of bop ourselves. All right, and I am going to do one more safety save because I am no longer Brave Boy. All right, so max speed, gas overlay, signal switch. Nice. No gas bubble leaking out. And then we get to allow the magma to dip back in. All right, so we did the sulfur. There's no more deliveries. Turn this off. 
and then deconstruct. We'll deconstruct this as well. Actually, no, we keep that. No, we need to deconstruct it so that we could get rid of the sulfur. I do need to build this right here. And then we'll sweep these tiles out. Oh, this is obsidian at 45. We keep that inside. Can I finally do this? No. I can do this here, though. I'm down with that. Did we finish the ladders on the right side? Oh, we did. Nice. Okay, so... We want to mine those tiles. Having the sand drop is fine. And then we'll wait for the sand to fall, and then we'll just mine that out from the bottom. Oh! Wow! This does not want to solidify, even though it's at 45 grams, or 44 Celsius. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Can you solidify, buddy? Alright, we're just going to push it like that. Omelette do fromage. Cheese omelettes, I'm down. Alright, we're going to turn this off. While we fill this up again. And that technically means I don't need this anymore. Because we're trying to solidify this. I hope they don't flash this into gas. That's more shenanigans. I just want to push that in. Like, that's ideally what I want. Push it to the right, falls in. And it solidifies. And then it pushes in. Let's go, get swept anyways. Wait. This guy just stole the sulfur straight up. Okay. Oh, that's what happens. That happens from time to time, right? I need to put a door there just to make sure. That guy tried to rob me, dude. 11 out of 10. It was pretty good, right, Mighty Stoosh? It was pretty good. That scene took 15 minutes to actually make after I figured out what I wanted to do. It's kind of wild. But just waiting for the fish to die <laughs> took forever, man. I just have to let the game run. We have to have the tame egg, have the egg hatch, and then we have to wait for the parent to die. That stuff was, uh, that stuff took a minute. Alright, so I want to deconstruct these tiles right here so that it's more uniform in the shape. But it's honestly not going to matter too much, I don't think. Alright, so I do believe we should try to sweep this. Wait a second. All the igneous here is not hot. Let's sweep that out. Dupes are doing well, though. Dupes are doing well. That's not Mopple Boy. I wish it was. Alright, so I think this actually ends up being the liquid lock. Going into the geothermal power plant. So you want to have this be the wall. And you come in from the inside. And then we'll just open it up so that everything else is just going to be filled with gas. That probably should be fine. Mine up the sand. So this opening right here is fine. It doesn't bother us because we're vacuum to vacuum. Alright, so... If we did do the strat like the way I think it was, here, 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 and then that's going to be the liquid lock, right? Let's actually... That actually makes a lot of sense, though, to be honest, to do it like that. And then we would have here to here be the design. Oh, I almost get to 20 tiles. Which is four steam turbines. Oh, that means this is off then. 
which means that I probably try to push this in slightly. So it's here, 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 here. Weird corner setup, but it works. I'm willing to move this over one tile, if that helps me. Actually, it lines up a lot better the other way. <laughs> yep, we'll do it like that. That's fine. How's the homie on the other side? Not- oh, he is idle? Come on, man. Is there nothing else to deliver? Oh, I turned this off. You can go back to delivering. And then after he's done, we're going to do mining. So here and here. We'll cancel that. And then we're going to mine from the top. Because I kind of want to... Not that I want to get rid of the Drekos, but... A lot of the sand and sandstones right there is pretty convenient. And I want to get rid of the uh, all the materials from here. I think we should strip mine it. Wouldn't be bad, strip mining this area. Also have uh, this idea we wanted to do. It's probably not use sandstone. I don't know if he could dig through, but we'll just have it there in case uh, he gets idle. Are you guys not supposed to run? How, are you, how do you not run a run? Is it because they're not on a high threshold? Batteries are sufficiently full. Feels bad. Does this not work the way I think it does? There has been no usage, right? There has been no usage. Okay. Let's put a battery here, see if it helps. Maybe they'll run on the battery and then the battery sends the power out and then that way they'll be okay. It feels like since there's no consumers, they're not really willing to do anything. So we're gonna actually deny access here so that duplicates don't run inside to grab uh, more liquid sulfur. That way we can actually control who just runs up here for no reason. Okay, now from this side, still not moppable. Feels bad. Uh, let's mine some obsidian, though. What are you trying to do with the hamster wheels we're not doing? I want the duplicates that are banned. Uh, there we go. They're doing it now. I wanted the hamster wheels so that the duplicates that are banned from leaving, that's the new dupes right here, Nails and Leofar. Their athleticism is a little bit too low for my liking. So we want them to run on the wheel just so that, you know, they have something to do. Not that we need the power, but it's more so that they could upgrade their athleticism. We want it to be at 10 for everyone in the colony. Because when you wear suits, you get a 6 point penalty. So I just want to make it so that it's kind of like that. We might want to take this and have it on the suit line instead of from the bottom. Oh, you do the, the wire to the light. I see. I'm actually attaching it to my power system with a reverse one-way on the uh, power transformer. So we feed the wheel into it, and then it's a metal or a heavy watt wire on the other side. It goes into the smart battery. That way we get, uh, you know, decent benefits. Barris Sludge, dude. Low priority, but it works. Oh, Bristol Berries. Yeah, I no longer could allow sleet wheat here. Which means I need to take all the sleet wheat here and put it back. Yeah. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. So they're going to start sweeping from here back into here. And that way we could actually start making uh, berry sludge. Because the problem is, is that all of the uh, sleet wheat is on this tile still. And we were putting it on that tile so that we could sweep it out to make our farm. Feels bad. Caught that though. The transformer has a battery in it though. So if it's nothing consuming off of the transformer and the battery is full, it turns off the wheel. Once the battery is put is down, same thing. I don't know. It was weird. Now the thing is, is that for whatever reason, this, 
the, the transformer, I believe what you say is correct, but I think the generator does not read that as a consumer because the hamster wheel had no one running on it, 0% uptime, and it was connected properly. The only thing I changed now was just put down a small battery. Now that we put the small battery though, they're actually both running on it pretty consistently. I don't know why it's like that though, but I, I would agree that it, it shouldn't. It, like with the transformer, it should be enough. I don't know why it was a weirder interaction like that though. I do agree though, it, it's a bit off, so to speak. Oh, this is back active, huh? Not bad. That's because they're charging the battery. So, so what I saw though was that the transformer was holding zero power. It was holding zero power. And they weren't running on it. So I think there's a weird interaction with the transformer. Because I, I imagine they would at least want to fill up the transformer, right? But if it's zero out of a thousand, I'm like, ah, maybe something is missing. But adding the battery seems to be okay. So, you know, not too mad about that. Alright, food is not gonna rot, right? Soon, okay. We should send this guy out then. Dude, we can actually do this now. That's slick. Okay, so we can mine this. Nice, more pitcher pumps. Oh, this guy getting burned just for grabbing the bottle of magma in the magma. It happens, man. Duplicants are doing too much. I wonder if this is a good time to give everyone carrying skill. <laughs> it's probably already unnecessary. All right, so here, here, two tile gap minimum. So I have to fill that up. Looks like your real battery is discharging unlike the transform is staying full. I see, I see. Uh, so I think the moment we build, yeah, I don't think we need to go to the bottom right. I don't think, I mean, we can make a one drop lock setup. Who's starving? Oh, this guy. Okay. And then this guy is grabbing <laughs> magma from the magma. That's fine. So we need to grab. We'll take the 25,000. Sweep that. Max priority. Oh, Steph is going to do it. Oh, Steph just got burned. And she drops the magma back down. Feels bad. You got it, Steph. Take the copper ore. So we need to do this, otherwise the guy on the other side kind of starves to death. Kind of important. Nice. Six hundred K cows. He has enough. He has enough. I like how he grabs exactly one meal for himself and that's it. <laughs> He'll be okay for a little while. Alright, so from the design, uh, these are all cold igneous tiles. I would love to sweep these. Alright, so from here, can I mop this? Almost. If we have this, and it goes out to here. Oop, auto save lag. If we have this, and we go wall to wall here. We technically need to go out there to fit, to fit exactly four transformers inside. I guess it's fine. 
and then we would have the bottom be the steam box, right? So here to here. So I won't be able to go into the steam box. That means this is going to be a build where once I build it, I never go back inside. Four steam turbines and then one aqua tuner, that actually is fine. Like, there's no real problem with that. We're only ever going to get to 200 degrees. Never going to go above that. So, yeah. I guess we could make a... Once we make it, we could close it design because it's not really going to matter. All right, so if this is a tile, so we go up to here, so this gets deconstructed. And then this becomes our uh, insulated tile wall. All that extra labor time from draining the magma, dude, man, we still got some more. We're almost done, though. We're going to be done today, man. We're going to be done today. We are going to be done today. A few months later, no man, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, is it? A few months later, I see you guys over there. Oh, I was like, who made a mess? Oh, he's going to pee back into his tank. Stop, stop. Oh, it's back inside. Motherfucker, man. He peed on his own food. Every time, dude. Oh, we're out of dirt again. That's why. Yeah, it's always my fault. <laughs> it's always my fault, dude. I swear, there's got to be like a hatch somewhere. I'm just eating all my dirt. Like, every time I need dirt, I never have it. Alright, we're going to mine these tiles so that the dirt stays on that tile. Don't worry, man. The food was in a jar. We got the preserves in a plastic Ziploc. Be like that sometimes. Oh, and I got to disallow this. So that they could start mining. Otherwise, he's not going to mine. I actually need to make this high priority then. Oh, this is done. I gotta close that. This is gonna be the next decon. We're gonna replace the ladders just because we could already travel without it. This actually means this will go out this way. And then I should probably put a tile there, since nothing's going to fall on it. This probably means I should move my ladder now. Oh, you know what this also means? I need to move my gas pipes. Because otherwise it's going to boil. Ooh, okay. So, Mafic. Uh, we're going to have to move this all the way up. And we'll do a, two layers of this. Just because I do need to reroute my pipes. I'll rather do that now than later. Having the things be built though, not bad. We're going to need this to go inside to the bottom. I'll probably use this way to get to the bottom. That's pretty fair, I think. Let's make this all the way to the bottom. Oh, that might that might actually bot me. So we'll do it like that. 160. Alright, so this just has to be solidified. Like, that's not gonna spill out anymore. Gotta name that guy Bear Grills, because he likes to drink his own pee. Yo man. It mixes in with the preserves, adds a little bit of flavor. Have you guys seen the the episode of uh, 
what, 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 was, what was the show called with Anthony Bourdain? Where he goes around the world and tries out food? What was that show called? You guys know what I'm talking about? There was an episode. He was in uh, somewhere in Africa. And they were making him some burgers. And it was like a mixture of like different things. And it had like beans in it. You know, things like that. And it had some meat in it as well. And one of the things was when they were cooking it, there was flies everywhere. And because it's a slow cooking process, because they didn't have like, you know, a stove or anything like that, they would just slap the flies on the burgers and have the flies be a part of the meat. And then he looks at Anthony Bourdain and then he goes, it adds protein. <laughs> adds flavor. And he was like, oh God, that looks gross. And he didn't want to eat it, but he still ate it. That's kind of like that, Magic Mark. Adds a little bit of flavor, dude. Feels weird, man. But at the same time, yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Three twenty-five kgs of copper. Yeah, it's the mosquito burgers. I thought they were flies, but yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the video I was talking about. They were making like flyer mosquitoes and they would just hover around the burgers and they would slap them on. I will say that it does not look appetizing. It does not look appetizing. But it is what it is. Let's make this a higher priority so it gets built first. Instead of the gas pipes. No reservations, was that it? I, I I remember something along the lines of like like weird eats. I might be I might yeah it might be no reservations. There was another time I saw them. They were in like Alaska or something, and they were eating. I think it was like whale, and he said that it smelled so bad. But he still ate it. <laughs> Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Oh, this is done. Got to remove that. Oh. <coughs> oh, you guys heard me cough. Feels bad. I said something and I breathed in at the same time and I was choking on my own saliva. I need, I need to take a sip of water. Sorry about that, you guys. Feels bad. Okay. I probably want to remove this and that. So that we put another pitch pump here. And then this is... What do we have? Fall into the ground. That would... Sol oh, my ladders. No, these are all obsidian. Oh, man. This chilled. Whatever I dropped chilled the magma. Remember that other Food Network guy who was bald and would eat foods around the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, was that not Anthony Bourdain? Was that someone else? It was a show like that. They would eat weird food across the world. I just, I just don't remember the name, dude. Don't remember the name at all. It was someone else. Oh, man. Places unknown? I, 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 it doesn't ring a bell. It doesn't ring a bell. I, I want to say that if you were to say the name of the show or the guy who did it, I would remember, but I actually don't remember. And I can't confid confidently say I will. I feel like I wouldn't remember. But I used to watch that, man. It was, it, oh, Andrew Z yeah, 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 Andrew Zimmerman. That, yeah, dude, that rings the bell. I don't remember the name of the show, though. Dude, that, that that rings a bell. 100%. Oh, look at this guy. Taking damage for no reason. Looking shell-shocked right now. 
I'll see you over there. Bizarre Foods? Was that the name of it? Bizarre Foods. Huh. I, I just have to believe it then, right? <laughs> I believe it that it'd be like that. Auto save lag. Ooh, damn, it looked like everything melted. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, we're gonna need a ladder here. I think everything else is reachable. Bizarre foods. I don't know, man. There's something about that show. I liked watching it too. Something about the shows, man. Uh, we're gonna build that on top to solidify it potentially. Mine that out because that's not a bisolite. And we're getting this ready. Okay, so now we gotta reroute the CO2 and the oxygen pipes. So we need to basically have people start consuming it. So I think the first thing we'll do is since this is ready, we will have this attach. So we could start releasing gas. Oh, that's the wrong attachment. I am not a smart man. Let's actually have it attached this way. <laughs> I am not a smart man. I have extra pipe for no reason. There we go. Oxygen comes out. Hey, let's go. We have oxygen here now. Things are breathable. Alright, so that allows this jumble battery to start holding power. Now, we're not going to have it hold power yet. I want to see if the temperature of the oxygen drops. Because it's touching mad cold abyssalite. It should over time. Not immediately, though. And then we need... Okay, that's good. So that allows me to cut this pipe. And then we need to get rid of it. And then we got to get rid of the CO2 pipe next. Uh, there is a method to get rid of the CO2, though. I could do this. And then I would cut that line. Go back to the bottom. We cut this. And then we cut that. And then we go this way. Yeah, and then it reverses. It should be good. We should have enough space to just have it reroute. And then I should be able to cut this. We're not going to reconnect it, though. This should be fine. And then cut, cut. And then we should have an oxygen line soon. So this should be cut. Gotta have it, man. Dude, how is TM? I thought that was an emote. Is that a new... Is that a new global emote, dude? The TM logo? I see you over there, Mighty Stoosh. I see you over there. Is that new, dude? That's the first time I've seen that. I mean, you used it earlier, but... Outside of today, I don't think I've ever seen that being used. I see you over there, man. Oh, it's an iPhone emoji. Oh, crap. I guess that's a thing now, huh? Alright, so is there anything here that's specifically hot I should worry about? I think the gases are fine. I will get rid of some of the things like this. And then we are going to redo how this is going to look like soon with the insulated tiles. I was wondering, like, what happened to my liquid copper? I'm like, oh yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> uh, let's build some meme strats. Here, here, here. And then we will have bottle emptier here. All 
All right, all right. Making sure this guy is an idol. And he is. He dug up the top already? Yo, what a madman. He did all that. Okay. Deliver the foods back. You know what it is. Gotta make the deliveries. It's a ASC character on the Windows keyboard. Oh, dude. I used to know that. When I used to play Gunbound. Magic Mark. Back in the day, I used to play Gunbound. And I used to know all those alt commands. Because you get some pretty funny uh, symbols for it. <laughs> Back when I used to play Gunbound, dude. You used to spam that in the lobby room while we're waiting for the game to start. Old school days, man. Old school days. Back when all the kids were playing Gunbound because it was all the rage. This guy has allergic reactions. I see you over there. Wait. Oh, that's radiation sickness. That's not popping up. I thought that was Leofar, but he has that he has that hat on. Alright, so this is gonna be copper. And since the tiles here is already 45 degrees, us dropping the copper on it should cool it down. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Yo, what the heck? Guernsey Dave coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Guernsey Dave. Oh, shit. That's the wrong command. I'm sorry, Guernsey Dave. <laughs> I almost raided you. There we go. Playing some Space Engineers. Thank you so much for the raid, Guernsey Dave. Welcome on in. And of course, welcome on in, raiders. My name is Too Legit Sitting. We're playing some Oxygen Not Included. Did it work? It kind of went, uh, yeah, we got the raid. I almost raided you back because I did the wrong commands. <laughs> but thanks so much for the raid, Grinty Dave. How was the stream, dude? How was the space engineers? I was lurking your channel last time while you were playing that. And yes, it is completely different from Oni. <laughs> it is completely different from Oxygen Uncluded. It was good. Made it to the moon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I, I gotta ask, what's what's the end game goal for Space Engineers? I don't think I asked that, right? It moved me here, Rawls. Welcome on in. I see you over there. The raid worked. Let's go. If you guys didn't know, Guernsey Dave's professional streamer. Of course, he knows how to raid people. <laughs> but hey, guys, welcome on in. We are playing some Onis today. We're moving magma. We're gonna build a lava powered uh, steam turbine setup soon. Hopefully, it's going to work as well as we think it does. There isn't really any other any story other than the one you make, so there's no end game. So it's sandbox. It's it's pure sandbox. Feels bad. Feels bad. Pure sandbox. You make your own mission and story, so I guess to build everything you want on every planet you want. Gotcha, gotcha. Awesome, awesome. I see you over there. Blindum, welcome on in. But yo, Grinty Dave, thanks so much for the raid, man. So Grinty Dave, didn't you play Oni for a short amount of time? Or am I crazy? Didn't you play Oni for a short amount of time, man? Or am I thinking of someone else? Because I want to ask, man, if 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 it's there's a chance you might pick up the game. Sandbox, lots of moths makes things well. Interesting. Okay, okay. But I was so bad at it, so no chance you're gonna be checking it out anytime soon. I'm curious, man. I'm just curious to see if it's uh, you know something you're gonna want to check out again. What made you stop, I guess? That was it just not clicking, like the the intuitive stuff. I could imagine that being an issue potentially. Yeah, 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 I know Blender used to used to uh, do a lot of Onis. Can't. Oh no, it's ladders. That actually has no effect, right? So this actually should be perfectly fine. 
Actually, I want to use Mafic if I can. 